another good positive production productive day for Daniel Miller. You know, you know, you know, I've been talking in and around the program and off, you know, on trips and you know, we talk about how important his progress and development is to the success of this team. You have a good day. As a whole, you win by ten, but it doesn't feel good, does it? Uh, it, do, it does feel good. I, I just didn't like the way that, that things unfolded in the second half. Uh, again, we got riddled from three, and we got to do a better job, uh, just in terms of identifying okay. shooters. I'm sure you guys could hear me yelling uh, when that kid 20 was sure. in the sure. corner, yeah. and we backed off him, and I'm yelling, shooter, shooter, and he you know, put it right down. But, uh, you know, overall, like I said, I mean, to see the progress Daniel's making, Nate's making, we got to get Cam Holsey going. He's got to he, – he, he can be a much more productive player. But overall, again, um, with the second half of standing, I thought we did. Uh, we, we got some good things today. Okay, led by as many as 21 in the first half. I, I keep looking here at the 6 of 25 shooting in the second half. I mean, you talk about the way they shot the ball. Are you concerned about the way you shot the ball? Or is it just one of those 20 minutes? Well, I, you know, we, we got some opportunities in transition. I thought pretty easy opportunities. Sure. We just didn't finish. Um, and then when you miss those, then all of a sudden the ball, the bucket looks like a teacup. You know? <laughs> so. You know, we had those two where, you know, that bounced out. And, uh, again, when we executed, that was the time we started running our, you know, little open offense. And, you know, Iman got a foul out area, jump shot. Somebody else got one and knocked it down. But then, you know, we just got, you know, impatient again. But, um, you know, again, I, I thought we had some very, very makeable buckets. A couple of point blank layups yeah. we just missed. Collectively, though, you assist on uh, 13 of your 20 field goals. So offensive efficiency wasn't that bad then at the end, was it? That's moving in the right direction, eh? I always tell them, you got to take more than two bounces to get yourself a shot. By the time you get the third bounce, a good defensive team will be there. If you try to use a fourth bounce against a good defensive team, it will be a turnover. All right, people are going to see you were out rebounded 43 to 34. Uh, I know you spent part of this week talking about rebounding as it relates to perimeter defense. Did you see any improvement there or, or moving toward what you want, I guess? You know, Wes, the 43-34 number doesn't bother me. The number that, that I'm happy with is the eight offensive rebounds. Right. You know, you, if we're keeping them to such a low percentage of their second shots, uh, some missed shots, I should say, then we're fine. I mean, we're, all the, the 35 off defense rebounds means that we were getting a lot more shots. A week before you play Richmond in the Bahamas, how do you guys spend this? You have to be careful, I guess, with all the things going on exam-wise, too. Well, that's the most important thing. And they, they've got double study hall sessions tomorrow. Uh, we'll do a little practice on Monday morning things just to get out and run around a little bit. Uh, then we'll be off Tuesday and all day Wednesday. And, uh, you know, we'll get back at it maybe Wednesday night because the bulk of our exams will be over by Wednesday. And that's the most important thing right now, getting ready for finals. Coach, thanks for the visit. Congratulations. Thanks. That's Paul.